Okay, so here we go. Question number 16. This is a percentage question. So we need to work out a percentage profit. So one way I use to remember percentage profit is I use the formula where it's the change, whether it's gone up or down, divided by the original. So the change is a fraction of the original times by 100 to turn into a percentage. Okay? So you can see he sells his house for 4,000. So it's gone up 4,000, hasn't it? So 4,500, it's gone up. And over the original price, which is 150,000. So if I set up a fraction, 4,500 over 150,000, times that by 100, that's going to help me get my uh, percentage uh, profit. So 4,000, just on your calculator, divided by 150,000 is 0.03 times by 100, which is obviously just going to come out as 3% profit. Okay? So our answer would be 3%. Now, if you want to check that, what you could do as a little check, what you could do is find 3% of 150,000. So if you don't believe me or you're not sure, you want to check in the exam, you've got this bit of extra time at the end, find 3%. So to find 3%, it's just going to be 150,000 times 0 0.03. So just tap that on your calculator, and you actually get 4,500. So you've checked it's right. Okay? Now there's a part B. I'm just going to change the page for part B. Part B um, it says invest, it invest the money you made from selling his house for two years at 4% per year compound interest. Work out the value of the in, uh, investment. Well, the key point for compound interest is that says don't don't forget I know my writing's a bit dodgy sorry don't forget the interest on the interest so compound interest means that whatever money you've made you then the year after that you make the money on that too so so at the end of year one, the end of year one, well, to work out the, the to work it out, there's a good little way of remembering it as well, is it's the, or what is it? It's 154,000 and after the first year, I'm going to times that by 1.04. So that's the in, that increase of 4% on that. So just on my calculator, I'm going to do 150,000 times 1.04. And that tells me, that tells me it goes up to, when I found 4% of that, it's going to go up to 156,000. Okay? Now at the end of year two, all of that 100. That interest has got paid into my account, and I now have the 156,000. So I've not worked out the 4% and added on. I've done it in one step in this calculation. So that kind of uh, second point. So a 4% increase is best done by times 1.04. So the end of year two, I've got the 156,000 in my account, and I'm going to times it by 1.04 again. So it's not going to just go up by the same amount because I've actually got a little bit more in my account. And that little bit extra, that interest I've earned, I'm actually going to interest on that for the second year. So it actually makes me a little bit more money. So I'm going to take my 156,000, I'm going to times it by 1.04 again. And I find I get £162,240. And that's what's the end. If I needed it after another year or a year after that, I'll just keep multiplying the new amount 
this amount, the, lay, the last bit that's in my account, I would times that by the 1.04. And I would keep, keep calculating the interest on the interest. That's what I mean up here. Okay? So work out the value of the investment. Well, it's 162,240. 162,240 pounds. Oh, my apologies. 